vaccine. Also new at five asylum seekers have spent more than a year and a half living in deplorable conditions in tents in Matamoros, Mexico, under the Trump administration's Remain in Mexico policy. Now, under the new presidential administration, the program that kept asylum seekers in Mexico is no longer in place. Jonathan Cato is down near the border where he talked to some activist groups about what's next for thousands of immigrants as they try to make their way into the U.S. Jonathan? Certainly brighter days ahead for thousands of families now. Community organizers ensuring they have everything they need as they embark on their next journey. So MPP means Migrant Protection Protocol, and it was a policy that was put in place in the Trump administration. Andrea Rudnick volunteered with Team Brownsville, an organization aimed at providing aid to migrant families, explaining the protocol that kept thousands of families in tents for over a year and a half. When our our new president was uh, inaugurated. He made a promise to stop MPP because of its inhumanity and because of the injustice for the people that have been living in very squalid conditions in, in Mexico. After fleeing their countries from violence and risking their well-being in hazardous living conditions, asylum seekers now allowed to pursue their shot at the American dream. The groups that are crossing are about 25 people at a time, and so what they've been doing is crossing uh, between four and six groups a day. Immigrants consisting mostly of women and children, but Rudnick says it's a mixed crowd that are heading to various destinations along the state and country. We provide them with backpacks, with a blanket, pillow, toiletries, um, toys, diapers for babies, just really meeting the needs. MPP is lifted, but the future is still uncertain for those fleeing violence and seeking asylum. My hope is that we never see the likes of MPP ever again. Um, it just cannot be that people are forced to live in that in such a, an inhumane way. Rudnick says they understand they will see an increase of migrants making their way into the U.S. and hopes the Biden administration will establish a way to assist in the process. Reporting in McAllen, Jonathan Cotto, back to you.